Hello, this is Lord Og. Yes, it is. Welcome to the High Stakes Treasure Map. We're going to go on Red Dead Redemption 2, I should say, so you know what game it is. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go through all the stages to find this. Uh, it took a little bit longer because I had a bit of internet trouble, but it's okay now so we can get started. And uh, so let's get right into that. Okay, now this um, meeting for this treasure hunter can happen in random places. For me, it was here. Just uh, south of Wallace Station, in this little U kind of thing in the map, uh, it was uh, a usual thing, white circle, question mark, and then I made my way up here. But it can actually appear, this treasure hunter can actually appear in quite a few different places. There is maps that will show you where he can be, but for me, this is where he is. Now when you get into this area, you'll find him stood uh, along, on the rocks at the end of this uh, little opening here now when you approach him he'll start babbling about always oh, doing nothing and that kind of thing then he'll go on his horse and gallop away you have got several choices here for example if you're on a no kill game then you can always lasso him as you walk up to him or lasso him as he's going for his horse and then hog tie him and you can loot him and from there you know you'll get you'll get the map or you can do what i did and just shoot him in the back because i like to shoot first and then grab the map off him because it just seems suspicious. I didn't exactly know what he um, what he were doing, so I just go by, shoot first, ask questions later. So I shot him, and then I took his map. Now, what I did from here was when I got the map, this is what it showed you. Now, as usual, I looked for landmarks that would identify where I had to go next, and the landmark for me on here was the waterfall that you can see there. And I'm not going to mess about, I'll just show you where it is. And the waterfall in this case is over straight ahead of me now. You can see it in the distance and it's, uh, it's a little hard to miss because it stands out. And well, this, the name of this is the Cumberland Falls. You can see it right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to Cumberland Falls and we'll carry on from there. Okay, so we've arrived at Cumberland Falls. Now the first thing you want to do, it's, it's actually quite easy this, this first part. Walk off there and walk off to the left I should say and if you look well you can't quite see from here but if you go over to here just kind of just kind of follow it along you'll be able to drop off down here you're going to take a bit of damage but don't worry you've got plenty you're not gonna it's not gonna do too bad follow this along you can actually slide into water which I've done before also but it doesn't matter you can get out easy enough then you want to climb up this plank. Now, I went into first person. You don't have to, but there's a ledge in here. And if you're not first person, sometimes you've got a picture outside the waterfall, so you can't see that ledge. So first person makes it so you can see the ledge. And you want to come to the back of the cave here, right where I am now. And the map is at the back of this cave, behind the waterfall. So once you've got that, you get the next piece of map. Upon opening this map, you'll see this. Now, as usual, instead of it doing what I thought it should do and looking from like this location to the next one, it doesn't. Instead, it just goes to somewhere else. And in this case, you're going to be going, you're going to be moving north into the snowy area. So you're going to want something warm on. And you're going to be going to Barrow Lagoon, and this is uh, where you'll find the next map piece. I still think it would have been better if you could like get to get back onto above the waterfall and just look out with the binoculars and find the next place, but instead it just jump into a random location. But uh, anyway, that's where we've got to go next, so I'll see you there. Okay, so when you get to Barrow Lagoon, the first thing I'd say is be careful. You can get wolves and bears here, so be, be wary of that. Secondly, what you've got to do is you've got to look for these kind of concrete, these stone... Uh, slopes leading to this log here that goes to the middle to the little island in the middle you can't really miss it because there's only one island that's separate from the rest and you want to go to this log and there's a little hole in the top here and this is where you get your next map part so uh, let's have a look at that I found this map led to somewhere quite random personally 
Because at least the other ones led to somewhere like a, a proper landmark, like Barrow Lagoon or Cumberland Falls. This kind of goes into the middle of nowhere, and uh, you're supposed to find it somehow. So anyway, where you are supposed to go is you want to go to the wet to the east, sorry, and you want to go just northeast of Fort Wallace, or it's just uh, south of Backer Station. And uh, it's like I say, it's kind of random. So let's get there. Okay, so when you arrive here, you're looking for this slope. Now I'll show you quickly again. This is exactly where I am on the map. Like I say, it's very random. There's no direct. Uh, landmark except for Wallace, for Wallace but that's not exactly where you've got to go so but you want to be here you want to look up and you want to follow this slope upwards now at some point you're gonna to have to ditch your horse just to let you know that but you will you can use it up here to start with now even the next part was a bit random because you're supposed to look for somewhere where you can see a bridge and there is another part up here where you can see a bridge which threw me but you're looking to go here as you go up the hill and you get to the flat part, you want to go look to the left. And you're going to go down here. There's the bridge. Look, you can get the view of it from here. <laughs> Little slide, can't keep my foot in. Now, we go off to the left. And you want to... If you go to the right here, there's a little cave drawing. There is actually a, a challenge to find these cave drawings. So, uh, wall drawings kind of things. So, you know, that's one. You can, you can grab that if you want. You don't have to. Then crouch down and do a little run to the top of this hill. Now, don't walk up. I walked up and it's actually slid me off and threw me off at end of, off a mountain thing and killed me. So do a little do a crouch, but then do a little run and try and stop at the top once you've got clear. Once you've done that, you want to edge along this uh, this ledge, and you'll see there's a there's a, a bit of a jump. Make sure you do a jump though. You don't have to do a running jump. Just a normal jump will do and it is actually a drop now you can drop down that way or you can drop down this way either way it doesn't matter it's the, it's the same distance down I did it a bit clumsy but you can actually land better than that but either way you're going to take a bit of damage so get used to it now what you do is you crouch again and you come up here and once you get to here stop here and you'll see in the bottom right corner the word search it, it isn't there now because I've already got it um, and the the three, I think it's three gold bars, are in this little crack in the wall, level with my eyes now. Eye level with me right now. That is where he'll reach in and he'll take the three gold bars out and you've done this, uh, this treasure hunt. So well done. So when you take those three gold bars to a fence, that'll get you uh, 500 for each. So you'll get another 1500 gold. Now there is one treasure map left i believe and that one gives you four gold bars and that is the poison trail uh, map which i will be bringing to you very soon i haven't actually done that one yet i've been keeping it so i've been saving it and i'll actually do it kind of with you uh, i'll still skip cut bits out to get to the next location but i'll uh, find the treasure as, as i get there so hopefully i'll bring you that real soon and uh, i'll see you soon enjoy the Enjoy the money and buy a nice, uh, I don't know, nice rifle. Bye for now.